Mopar fam? Hope everybody's having a fantastic time. So today we are still currently working on Frostbite. We are finishing up putting in the new boost cam from Dr. Differential and Speed Shop. And why we are at it, a lot of you guys already know about these guys, but we got a set of these valve covers from Spalab Auto Parts a few months back, if not a little bit longer, and we have been kind of putting off the installation of these until we did the camshaft as the valve covers have to come out to do the camshaft. So I really didn't want to do, you know, the valve covers before the cam because we'd be just taking valve covers off back to back and it'd be kind of a pain in the butt. So I was saving up doing the valve covers for the camshaft install. So that is what we're about to do. I want to show you the difference between these Splat valve covers and the factory ones. All right, so right off the rip, as you can see, these are basically, these are billet aluminum. These are polished valve covers, metal, instead of the factory plastic ones. So obviously these are gonna look much better on the truck. Not only that, but bear with me on the mess. As you can see, we, uh, we're in the going back together process of the camshaft. But anywho, these valve covers are gonna go sweet with the Torque Storm Supercharger. So I cannot wait to get them on. They're gonna look awesome. Um, other thing I wanna mention, guys, is I was able to do this camshaft replacement with leaving the Torque Storm Supercharger completely on and the intake manifold. Um, and as well the AC system. I did not have to crack any lines and let out any Freon. I was able to work around all that to do the camshaft. Um, and the main reason is because we didn't have to pull off the cylinder heads. We already had a custom camshaft with upgraded springs and everything so the, the heads was able to stay on which allowed us to do a lot of working around even left the intercooler on. So anyway, back to the valve covers, guys. So obviously they're metal versus plastic. They look better than these. Um, the other thing is, as you can see, these are a little taller than the stock ones. And they're a little bit more square, so there's more room inside of these valve covers to allow for, say, bigger camshafts, higher lift, that sort of thing. Now, what comes with these valve covers when you buy them is you're going to get both valve covers. So you're going to get a pair of uh, so you're going to get a pair of valve covers. It comes with the gaskets, so you have the gasket that goes on the valve cover, and then you have the coil pack gaskets that goes on both covers. That is what they supply you with. Now, you can also get these valve covers in a black finish so you can get the polished version like this or you can get the black finish as well now the one thing you will need to get to do the valve cover swap is some bolts you're gonna have to buy some hardware because the factory hardware will not work so you're gonna have to get new bolts to hold the valve covers down and you're gonna have to get new bolts and hardware to hold down the, the coil packs onto the new valve covers. So let me show you what we got going on here. I ended up buying some stainless steel hardware. So there's the new screws. These are stainless steel. Um, you don't have to buy stainless steel, but I, I did the stainless steel because obviously they're not gonna corrode and they should they should look nice for a long time without getting any corrosion. So you're gonna get, you're gonna need to get a bunch of these screws. You're gonna need to get some flat washers. And there's also another um, handful of screws you're gonna need that's a little bit longer. So, and the difference between them screws is um, the, sh the longer ones are gonna hold down the coil packs on top and then the shorter ones are gonna actually mount the valve covers to the cylinder heads. Now, in the link, in Spalab's Auto Parts link for these valve covers, they have listed the exact size 
hardware screws and washers you need to buy to make these bolt on to your Hemi. So if you go over to their link, click this link will also be in the video description. So if you just click on that link, you'll pull up the item and it will be a list of all the hardware sizes that you need to purchase to put the valve covers on and do the swap. Now I will say swapping these valve covers out, especially if you have a stock vehicle per se without a supercharger on it um, and other things to work around, doing the valve covers are actually it's really not that bad at all. Um, you can get them off and on fairly simple, not too bad to swap out. The other thing you can do to gain some room guys is you can pull out the fender, inner fender liner, and you can also get to a lot of the screws and hardware through the fender area on both sides. If you have issues with getting them from the top. Now, again, you should be able to do everything from up here. But I do know some of them in the very back can be a pain to get to and going through the fender is actually a little easier sometimes. Now the passenger side will be what I think is usually the easier one because you have a lot more room to work with than you do the driver side. Driver side will be a little tight because you have to work around the intake. How that intake comes down kind of smothers the top of the valve cover and then you got the brake booster. Um, right next to that cover as well but other than that it's not too bad and they can be probably swapped out and I'd say a good half a day or so so there you go guys we're gonna grab these valve covers we're gonna get them installed real quick and as soon as we got them installed we are gonna get the camera over here so you guys can check them out when they're fully installed on the 5.7 also keep in mind guys these valve covers fit pretty much all the Hemi so if you're interested, like I said, the link will be in the video description and you can get them in the polished version or the black version. So as you guys know, we just finished up the new camshaft on Frostbite. And while we, while we was doing the camshaft job, we installed the Splab valve covers finally. As you guys know, we did a video of an unboxing of those new Splab valve covers a couple months ago. And I just haven't had the time to put them on that's the driver's side and it's kind of hard to see them in here but you can definitely tell a big difference let me go to the passenger side here and don't mind the dirtiness we have yet washed the engine bay since the cam swap so everything's kind of dirty even the new valve covers I've already got handprints on them and everything we got to clean everything up still but definitely digging the new valve covers those are billet aluminum and I went with the uh, the, the billet finish to match the supercharger and the piping uh, as you guys know the piping that we finished up we finally welded everything up I just got to take this all to my powder coater and we're gonna get it all powder coated but that is the new splat valve covers. You do have to get uh, new bolts or screws. You do need to get new screws to hold them down. The factory hardware does not work. And they have all the uh, hardware sizes you need to purchase on the website on the link. But that is them. Factory ignition coils will mount on top of them with the, the new hardware that you have to purchase not too bad to put on and they definitely look good on the truck it kind of flows with everything we got going on with frostbite here only thing we got to get rid of here soon is going to be that intake manifold and we got something coming up for that hopefully here soon so stay tuned but that is the new valve covers from Spalab Auto Parts on frostbite 5.7 liter Hemi. These will fit all your Hemis. Doesn't matter what size it is. They'll mount up. So there you go. Pretty badass. I'm definitely liking them. Now we just got to clean, clean all this stuff up after the cam swap. <laughs> Very dirty job. You get oil everywhere. So now we got to kind of wash everything up. That's what we're about to do here in a minute. 
the new valve covers from Splab Auto Parts is finally on Frostbite. I'm definitely loving them. Link will be in the video description if you're interested in getting a set. Like I said, they fit on the truck without a problem. No issues. They mount up. They're taller uh, than the factory ones. There's more clearance room in there. So if you want to run bigger components underneath, then you don't really have any clearance issues for that. Uh, granted, most of the Hemi designs and camshaft stuff and everything like that usually doesn't run into too many issues with the valve cover clearance, but these ones are much larger uh, on the inside, so they will accommodate pretty much everything you want to throw on top of your cylinder heads. So other than that, hope you guys enjoy them as much as I am right now, and stay tuned. We have a lot of crazy new stuff coming soon. As a lot of you guys have already seen, some of the sneak peeks on Cope Racing has been sending me some pictures of the transmission getting built. He's already got the valve body done. He's working on the transmission as we speak, and it is going to be absolutely awesome. I cannot wait to get that transmission in this truck. Um, most likely, guys, we are talking about, I'm probably going to trailer Frostbite all the way to Indiana from Georgia. I'm going to throw Frostbite probably behind my big, uh, big Cummins, and we are going to take a trip to Indiana most likely, and we're going to put the transmission in Frostbite in John's shop up at CRT. So stay tuned. That's going to be awesome. Hopefully we get some time and we can make that happen, but that is the plans. Um, invited me up to do it in his shop, and I would much rather do something like that in his shop as... That would just be awesome. Get to meet the guy in person. He's an awesome guy. And I can't wait to uh, go forward with this transmission. And also, you guys have already seen uh, some of the videos drop on the new camshaft. We are currently still in the tuning stages. But the cam is running and working pretty damn good. I'm definitely loving the new camshaft. It sounds awesome. And I just can't wait to get it to the track after we get this the camshaft dialed in and see what it'll do on the track. Stay tuned for some more camshaft stuff. Stay tuned for some HP tuners. As you guys know, I currently had, or not currently, excuse me. As you guys know, I was using Diablo Sport before this camshaft. Now we have the HP tuner software. So it's kind of a learning curve for me because I've been so used to Diablo Sport on not only this truck, but pretty much everything I've owned in the past, I had Diablo Sport. Now we're running the HP tuners, so it is a learning curve, but I'll tell you, I've already picked up on it pretty good, and it's definitely very easy to use. Loading tunes, uh, uh, logging data is absolutely awesome with HP tuners, and it's really easy. Um, already between the two, I would definitely rather have HP tuners, so definitely stay tuned. We'll have some videos with you know how to uh, log with HP tuners, how to load custom tunes with HP tuners and you know how to pull your tune and everything like that so stay tuned for some of that but other than that guys hope you dig the valve covers stay tuned for some cool stuff coming up and we'll see you guys on the next one peace